Zulu Tango Foxtrot, I'm all cleared and heading for the LZ. Roger that, Captain OG. I'll fly over every third day with fresh supplies for you, sir. Good luck out there in Godspeed. Roger that, ZTF. Catch you on the flip side. I'm going dark. Damn it! My supplies just dropped in the middle of that wandering horde. Now what am I going to do? Oh, man! Well, shit. There goes all my supplies and munitions. At least my explosives took out them sons of bitches. Welcome, everybody, to a brand new series here on 7 Days of the Alpha 21 Stable. This is Ranger Apocalypse. And if you have not seen my short introduction video to this series and what we're about, I do recommend that you uh, pause this video, go watch that first, and then come back here so you know what we're doing. Um, for those of you who are going to disregard that and not go watch it anyway, so just real quick, what we're doing here is we are... Of, um, we're an army ranger. We've been inserted into the north or sorry, the southeast corner of a 10 kilometer map in a very mountainous region. that's mostly for us. And our objective is to restore ranger stations and military installations and also help and assist traders in the region. Um, so that's what we're about. Uh, but there's a lot more details in uh, that introductory video for those of you who want to know what's going on. Uh, we are playing on insane difficulty. All of the zombies are on nightmare speed all of the time, day and night. And we have feral sense on at night. We have our XP set at 300% because we don't want to take too long to level. We want to focus on having fun with the story. And as you can see, I have spawned myself in a knife, a pistol, and a flashlight um, instead of a torch. So I threw the torch out because it's not you know, he wouldn't, a, a modern day army ranger would not have a torch on him when he's inserted into a system, but he would have a flashlight. Uh, so I threw the torch out and got the flashlight. Instead, we have 60 rounds, which represents four magazines, extra magazines of 15 rounds. Plus uh, we have uh, 15 rounds in the weapon. And of course, an army ranger would have a knife on them too. Okay. Other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll do the opening quest first, of course, so that we can get our um, uh, our first four points. We are going to focus primarily upon a, an agility build in this series, but we will also do other things as well. Let's get that bedroll going there. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you? We are not allowed. Uh, this is just a, some rules that I've set for the series. We're not allowed to live in a town. We can go into towns. We can even spend the night in a town if we, you know, have to, if we get caught out after dark. But we cannot live in the town. In other words, we can't build a base um, in a town. Um, it's going to be a semi-nomadic series. Um, what we can do, of course, is once we fix up ranger stations and military installations, we, we can make those outposts uh, for us. And we might, we will probably have what we might call our main base, but it's not going to be an elaborate uh, you know, big base build because we, you know, our job here while we're in this territory is to travel around and, um, you know, uh, restore all of those stations. So whether or not we get to every single one on this map, I'm not sure this is a 10 kilometer map, so it's going to take a while. And in terms of restoring stations, um, what that really means is we just go to each station POI, we clear out the zombies, we clean up the trash and we quote unquote, uh, repair the ham radio and get the place ready for uh, more soldiers to come in in an attempt to eventually take the area back over. OK, so that kind of gives you a little bit of, the, of a backstory of what we're doing here. Um, let's go ahead and create the the pants. Of course, you know, our, our dude would probably have his gear on, too. But I didn't want to go hog wild and in, in spawning in a whole bunch of extra stuff. Um, so, you know, we're just going to go with... Uh, with from from this point forward we're going to go with you know what the game's going to give us or what we can do as we level up maybe we could say our guy you know hit his head or something when he landed and he's can't remember everything and is trying to get his memory back or something i don't know we're not going to think too hard about that one way or the other to be honest with you though okay what else do i need i need uh shoes yeah we need shoes 
We need grass. Plant fiber shoes. Let's go here and padded. No, not padded boots. Where are the right here? Plant fiber shoes. Oh, we need some more plant fibers. Okay, let's get some plant fibers here. I'm looking forward to this series. We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Something a little bit different than you know, just a normal playthrough of the game. And um, if you want to see, by the way, if you're watching me for the very first time, if you want to see what you would call a normal playthrough of Seven Days to Die on Insane Difficulty with Nightmare Speed, uh, I do have the um, the experimental series, and I put out many, many episodes all the way to uh, through the end of Horde 935. Um, so that is also on the channel in a playlist. If you're interested in kind of seeing a more quote-unquote normal playthrough, at least in terms of you know, how to play the game. Um, all right, so let's see. What do we need to do? We need to craft a wooden club. Uh, let's do that next. Just get all this stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to turn right around and cra uh, scrap that. Now it wants us to do a bow, but we need to get a little bit more wood. Let's grab our axe here. And uh, we can't go too far to the southeast because I am right on the very edge of the map here, as you can see. If we go too much further than this square, we, we'll get into the radiation zone, which, of course, we don't want to do. Uh, all right, so it's showing us where we can get some wood. We'll do that and get uh, our bow made. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually gather a little extra wood and some extra stones, too, because we are going to need those. Uh, so let's get that done first, and then we'll complete this quest. I was going to tell you, too... Um, the, the very first ranger station that we're going to go to is just somewhere up here. And as a matter of fact, as I mentioned in the introductory video, um, our, you know, we're an army ranger, right? And we were briefed on our mission here. And so we were provided with maps of the area. We were able to study those maps. And so, um, you know, we already know what the map looks like. And the way that I'm going to refer to that in the gameplay here is when it, you know if and when we need to, to look at the map what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go into um the uh, debug menu and then we're going to uh, turn the the normal fog of war off and then we can you know kind of to kind of look at the map okay so i did say that this is allowed in this playthrough because here again the idea being that we studied uh, this map in advance and we are and we you know we ha even have a, a topographical or whatever map with us um that we had in our pocket when we jumped out of the plane um so what what we're basically doing and you can see where i am at i'm right at the very edge of the southeast corner of the map and i think this poi one of these two pois here is a ranger station so you know our first objective is today is to get to that ranger station get it cleared and you know get it set up as our initial outpost base um, okay, so I won't be doing any other cheaty cheats type of stuff other than that because it fits in with my intentions for this story. All right, let's get some more stones and uh, wood and then we'll finish out these quests and do our first four points. Wow, look at that, man. <laughs> uh, a level two pipe rifle and a vitamin. That's actually pretty darn good loot for starting off. We don't have any bullets for this, of course. Well, is it loaded? I don't think it is. Nope. Um, Yeah, but that, uh, that was fortuitous for sure. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and make our bow. And we'll make three arrows here. And of course, we'll make, be able to make more of those as we um, level up. I'm going to switch all of that stuff to there. Let's get this guy loaded as well. All right, now we're going to craft 21 of these. I'd like to keep 20 on my person, and then we'll have to use one of those uh, to satisfy the quest here. Put that down. It wants us to upgrade it. I've done this a few hundred million times. It wants us to make a, cram a campfire. Maybe not a hundred million times, but a lot. And that should conclude everything we need to do um, to finish these quests. Okay. 
So um, let's take this stuff back apart again so we get the loot and then we're going to take a look at our points and then head towards our first ranger station. It looks like our our trader is 3.4 clicks away. So probably not going to make it uh, to them tonight. But hopefully we'll... Uh, the best thing that can happen to us at this point is that we find a cooking pot at the ranger station. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, And, you know, some extra waters and stuff like that. If we don't, then we might be in a little bit of trouble when it comes to food and water. So we'll just see how things play out here. Um, I'm also going to make a stone shovel because we're going to need one of those. And I think I'm going to chuck that grass. We have to be really careful of our inventory management here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, crouch down and take a look at our points. So as I did before, we're going to put one point into Master Chef. Everything else is going to go into agility to start with. Um, we have a knife um, and we have a bow. And I think I'm going to do from the shadows. And then when we get it, the next point, we'll probably put it into to Gunslinger. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and move out. And we are working our way towards the ranger station, uh, which is just not too far over the ridge here. And see what happens. Zombos will start spawning in, you know, fairly soon once we get out of the, the starting zone. We'll loot anything we come across along the way, of course. Um, if you're not familiar with Alpha 21, the biggest challenge in when you start this game is water. Hands down, uh, really, really difficult to, to get uh, the water that you need. Um, you know, eventually, though, we will we'll be okay with it, but it's just very challenging in the early game here. Food's not as bad because there's lots of chickens, rabbits, and eggs available. Um, so it's really mostly the water that's just, you know, quite a bit of a pain in the butt. Pretty rugged terrain through here. I also um, adjusted the spawn point of, okay, we got our first zombie. It's a darling. I adjusted the spawn point of this map too, so that we spawned in in the southeast corner of the map because it uh, normally spawned us in, well, the last time we played this map, kind of more to the southwestish. Um, and I wanted to start in the southeast corner because I, I I did a little bit of a reconnoiter of the map before I started um, and found this ranger station that's in the southeast corner. So I said, all right, well, that's a good place to start. And then we'll just kind of, you know, fan out from there. Crash and iron there. Here's another nest. Oh, we got a bow. Okay. Let's get away from him a little bit and let the bleeds work on him. And we want to be on somewhat level terrain. There we go. He's dead. All right. It's nice having a, a green knife. It's a little... A little bit stronger than a bow knife, but again, it just made sense in my mind to that a ranger would have a knife and a sidearm on him, you know, when uh, on his person as he jumps out of the plane. As you noticed in the opening sequence, there we lost all of our supplies uh, to a zombie horde, and that's why you know we're starting off from scratch basically. Probably not be using the durability of my knife on breaking stones. Breaking Stones does give you a little bit of XP, so it's kind of worth doing in the very beginning game. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm doing it that way. 
Okay, we got a rabbit, and that's a little bit far for this bow on that chicken. Oh man, he juked right when I released the bow. Is there are two chickens over there? There is two chickens over there. Look at that. What do you know? Okay, we got one of them. I don't know. Not sure. Oh, there's the other one. There's a third chicken. All right, well, let's get the one we have down first so we don't lose it. Our From the Shadows skill is helping us stay cool and quiet here. All right. I think we're going to let that one go because I want to get moving here. Okay, so we have our first POI down here, but that is not our actual destination. Let's see if we can get a honey from this stump. Nope. Okay, we'll try next time. All right, I need to... I need to consult the map here. I think that's the ranger station. No, no, that's that PO. Okay, POI, sorry. Uh, so I think we need to go up there. This way, okay. And yeah, I do have the debug menu on, but as you can see, I don't have... Oh, wait, do I? Hold on a second. Oh, okay. I guess we can turn that off and still have the map uncovered. How interesting. Okay, that's actually a good thing because, you know, I don't want the de the debug menu on for any other reason. All right, who do we got? We got a yo. Nice. I'm liking this knife, you guys. It's so much better than a bone knife. Let's take care of Tom here. I usually call this guy formerly known as Spider Zombie, but his actual name is Tom. Tom something. Or other. He dead. Beautiful. Okay, so we were heading over in this direction. Let's look at the map again. This way. So, yeah, OG had a map in his pocket. Like, you know, a laminated map, the region will say. Because it just made sense that, you know, a ranger going on a mission in hostile territory would have a map of it. Oh, come on, man. This supposed to suck so bad. <laughs> there we go. Let's pull him down here so we have somewhat flat terrain to deal with him. We're almost to the next level, too. Having the 300% XP is going to be nice because, I mean, I've done this grind so many times, you guys, and I don't mind doing it for the first playthrough on a new alpha like I did with the experimental. But this focus is more story-oriented, and so, you know, I just didn't want to have to deal with the XP grind and it's even, you know, it even takes longer in, uh, with these high difficulty settings to, to level two, especially in the beginning game. Okay. So let's let business guy come down here. Business buddy. What the hell is he doing? Yeah. Get over here. Okay. He's lost, lost us. There we go. Come on, Mang. We don't have all day. 
Woo. Sometimes they'll do that juke right at the last second there. So we're not in the best of shape at this point. We're going to probably have to think about taking our bandage here pretty soon. Okay, so this is our very first ranger station that we are here to restore. This is Ranger Station Charlie. Uh, because it's way the hell out in the Thule's, though, and in a place that we probably won't be coming back to, we're going to quote-unquote restore it, but then we're going to move on. It's not going to be like a, an actual outpost for us because it just doesn't make sense to have an outpost out this far. Have some flat terrain here. But the idea is we go in there, we clear the zombies out, we repair the place, fix the radio, and then the army will start inserting, you know, troops to start holding this territory. And then we, you know, start taking the territory back one station at a time. That's the idea. Come here, Bo. Okay. Don't think there's zombos in here. Nope. Okay. We got a Steve. And he's dead. Beautiful. Oh, we got a point. Let's put that point right now into a gunslinger because we're probably going to have to use our pistol to completely clear this place out. There's a bunch of Zeeks on top of that tower there. All right, take that stuff. Let's do a little bit of pre-looting or double looting without getting too crazy about it. I think that's uh, pretty much going to cover the double looting there. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, sorry. This isn't a mission. <laughs> I was thinking it was a mission. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and infiltrate this facility here. Now, I think what we're going to do is, you know, it's our mission to fix these places up. So, you know, we're going to have a have a nice little, you know, building aspect to this playthrough but that doesn't mean we have to fix it up right this second um what we're going to do is we're going to clear it and then we're going to move on to the trader but we will come back and fix it up but again it's strategically it doesn't make sense for us to make this an outpost because once we fix it up we'll probably never come back to the extreme southeast corner of this map again for the playthrough uh unless you know we get a I guess if we get a, um, whatchamacallit, you know what I'm going to do, actually? Let's just throw this down here so we have a bit of a spawn point. Unless we get, like, a mission to come, or a job to come back out here, in which case we, we would do that. Okay. So, there's maybe going to be some Zeeks behind this counter. Yeah, we got a bow right there. Let's see if we can get a sneaky on him. We'll pull him out of the facility and take him out. Nice. Man, I love this knife. <laughs> it's so good that we have this knife. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got a yo. Come on outside, dude. Or stay there and be an idiot. That's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. Is he still stuck? Yep. Fantastic. In the early game, until we come across a helmet light, I'll do the best that I can uh, with my flashlight and with torches once we can come across some or make them to keep things as light as possible. Let's close that door. Um, okay, water, hopefully. Nice. That is not a working vending machine, unfortunately. Uh, the Fun Pimps redid the lighting in this game, and it's awesome for immersion, but 
It sucks for creative videos because it's so damn dark. All right. We're going to have any bad dudes in here. Oh, look, there's a cooking pot. Okay, that is really good, you guys. Really, really good. Okay, I think this room is clear. Um, We got a little food thingy up here. There's some food right there. Nice. Okay, that's going to come in handy. Let's grab this cooking pot. I was really hoping that was going to be there. Oh, we got some books. What do we have? Nice. Cooking. We now make grilled corn and baked potato. I want to try not to, though, as much as possible because it does make us thirsty. We want to get to where we can make grilled meat and uh, red tea. When we get to that point, you know, then we can make food that's not going to make us thirsty. So we'll just have to keep, you know, grinding away at that. Okay, so that clears out this room here. We can pick this up. Scrap it. What I'm going to do is go back over here by our bedroll. We're going to create a chest. And we'll put some stuff in here. Now, we have no reason to hang on to that. This we're going to put, or rather, change into here. Um, okay. OG, slow down. You're going just a little too fast here, too, dude. Dude, all right, let's put that, that, that. All of this stuff can go in there. Um, the bones, too. And actually, the rifle. It's not doing us any good until we get some bullets for it. I think, yeah, we'll put those in there. Let's make some more arrows with that stuff. Oh, you know what? We need some more stone. How many arrows do I have? Yeah, let me go. What time is it? Eh, it's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We got time. I'm going to go harvest another boulder really quick. Just so we can make a few more arrows. Come here, yo. Okay, just need to find a boulder. That's iron. I think, yeah, we got a boulder here. Let's get some stone. Okay, let's see if we can get this bunny here. Got him. Oh, it's time for us to eat. Okay. What I'm going to do is let's make ourselves a, a campfire. Wait for those arrows to finish. Then we have to go into the yard. We're going to have some fighting to do once we get in the yard there. Let's make ourselves some water. Uh, oh, we got to put that in first. Um, I'm going to hold off on on charred meat because it's going to make us thirsty. It'll be a last resort. We have nine eggs. Let's pull those down and just chow down on these eggs and we get five food. Oh wait, how much do we get for this? Yeah, five food per egg. So that should get us close to topped off. We'll get a little bit of health by eating these two. I really want to preserve my one and only first aid bandage until we absolutely need to take it. Here's what we're going to do there. We're going to break this door and put a wood door in, in its place. And we can block that as needed. Okay. Let's also make some cobblestone blocks. Um... I'm going to make one for now. And what we're going to actually do with this block is we're going to make it a... I think we'll make it a, a frame, so that way we can shoot through it. It should still be the same strength. 
All right, here we go. Search the pickup truck here. Okay, we'll probably end up throwing that stuff out. We've got a uh, Nurse Nancy zombie in here. Um, I think there's a Zombo in here. Yeah, it's a Marlene. Okay, we woke up a couple. Let's, depending upon who they are, we might be able to get away with just having uh, the wood block here. Okay, she's dead. Come on, Janitor Joe. Hey, we got a level. Nice. As soon as we deal with this guy, we're going to put that level into healing factor. Uh, so we go to fortitude healing factor. That way we'll heal a little bit more quickly. Um, let's go grab our... Uh, okay, so let's take one water because we're thirsty. Okay, so um, I think we've probably cleared all the Zeeks on the bottom, but like I said, there's going to be a bunch up there that we're going to have to deal with. Some corn seed, that's good. Seed is uh, quite a bit harder to come by. Here, let's get these pipes. Quite a bit harder to come by in Alpha 21. So I generally will hang on to just about any seeds we come across in the early game. And even later on, you know, once you have a garden planted and all that, you still don't get a lot of seed back from the harvest. So it's, uh, it's important to, you know, hang on to those seeds. This, I think, will give us more stone and cobble, or clay and sand. Okay, stuff we can use to make more cobble. Not interested in the sand. But let's get the wood from these, uh, this. And I think we just get stone. Yeah, we'll get stone from this stuff, but we need it. All right, I'm not going to loot gas. It doesn't do us any good. I don't think there's anything behind here. It's nice to see the generators running at this outpost, though. Is there any... Is there a zombo over here? Okay, guess not. We get plastic from these guys. We should be able to get water from this water tank, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Plastic from here. Excellent. Okay, I think we're ready to go up. So we might run into a Zeke on the way up, but we're definitely going to run into him when we get to the top. There's a Zombo right there. Man, too bad his head wasn't glitched all the way through. But we're going to hit him in the hand. Okay, let's get down. We can just use a normal wood block for him. If he's going to hit on there, I kind of don't want him to because he can blow it up. What I want to have happen is when we get the big rush of zombies for all of them to hit on this, let the truck blow them up and uh, take care of our problem for us. Let's get, uh, this will give us paper and plastic. A 
Okay. I think we just come up here and then... Oh, really? Okay. Got a lock pick. You're going to trigger any second here. Just don't want to get stuck up here. Okay, there they Whoa, no. Here, we'll do that later. Let's go. Alright. So we've got two zombies. We don't have anything super nasty. We could probably take them out without having to put our cobble block down. Okay. Is he, hit? Is he hitting on the vehicle? I think he's still up above. Yeah, he is. Okay. Good lord, how many arrows are you going to take? Okay, that should clear all the monsters. Did he just fall down somewhere? I'd like to get some of my arrows back from him. His corpse. Here we go. Um, I missed a some stuff here. Let's grab this real quick. All right, let's check the ammo pile. Well, we got some nine mil, that's great. Our first medical and uh, some very good medicine that we'll need later on. Some books. That's a trap crafting skill, yep. Okay. Check these two crates. We got a working stiffs under mole power. Okay, this is harvesting tools. Robotics. And the fat loots. Nice. Very nice. So we have three bandages and a triple pocket mod. Obviously, we will... Um... Oh, that's got to go. That's right. That's got to go in armor. And we have no duct tape. All right. Well, we'll have to wait till we can get a hold of some duct tape before we can do anything with that. So here's the deal. We, um, is there anything up here? Yeah. Bird's nest. So what we have to do now is, or, uh, well, not now as in right now, but at some point, before we get way out of this area, is we need to come back here and we need to um, clean up all of the trash, repair anything that's broken within reason, and fix the um, fix the laptop, I guess, because I don't see a radio here. Well, maybe this is the radio or the server. Fix all that stuff up and get this place so that it's suitable for um, the army to, to start sending... Um, soldiers here to to start taking over the territory. So that's basically what we're going to do to every ranger station and army uh, or military installation that we come across. Um, so it should be fun. Looking forward to it. But like I said, we don't have to do this right this absolute second. I think what we're going to do, what time is it? It's six o'clock. Let's consult our map. The trader is, how, how far away is the trader? Let's go here. The trader's 2.7 clicks away. We could potentially make it to the trader before nightfall, but it's not really going to give us a lot of time to, um, you know, to do much. On the other hand, if we stay here, we don't have a lot of water. 
So I think what we're going to do is is we're going to try and make it to the trader tonight and hopefully have a little bit of time to to loot the trader. And we will come back to this station um, and, and fix it up to fulfill our objective at some point before we go way far out of this area. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pick and choose what we're going to take with us and then we need to skedaddle. And uh, we'll probably start episode two once I make it to the trader. I'll keep the re recorder available in case something crazy happens between now and then. We'll probably kill some zombies along the way, loot some bird's nests, that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, the plan is to start the next episode once we get to the trader. Okay, so thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Apocalypse Rager. I'm so looking forward uh, to playing this. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And you guys have yourself a great rest of the day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.